the whole point of the video is that you can apply these settings globally. And that's amazing because it just saved me so much time. All I need to do now is just get the links. But uh, let me just walk through it. Why not? Okay. Uh, and, and by the way, for the people who want to know the information quick, all you have to do is go to settings uh, in your account, go to uh, videos, upload defaults, and you can set that all right here. And when you make a change, it will ask you if you want to apply that to all existing videos. And that's amazing. Uh, and so when you hit save, it's going to apply those settings to all your videos. Um, and so these are my upload defaults that I like. Um, and for whatever reason, I want to walk you through the way that I want to set it up. Just for anybody who's, who's doing this kind of thing, this is what I like to do. So general, uh, you got the title, and then um, you can create a GIF out of the thumbnail, which is pretty cool. Um, who can watch? I'm just going to leave it unlisted. Where can this be embedded? And then specific domains, and uh, I just want to have it on school.com, actually. So school.com, like that. And then no one can download, no one can uh, add it to collections. And there we go, so we can save that. And then uh, next I move on to embedded. And so this is basically what the website or what the video is going to look like when it's embedded. And the only things that I have turned on are these top controls. Uh, I don't want them to like, watch later, share, embed. I don't need my uh, profile that shows up over here uh, on the top left. I don't want that customization. Um, I keep turning this off, but then they turn it back on. So it seems like they just at least have to have a default color, which is fine. And then uh, the interaction tools, the only thing I want to do here is at the end screen, I just want to make sure it's empty. And so it's just a clean player. Um, they've got the player controls, no Vimeo logo. Um, and then at the end of the video, it's just empty. You can do like a, a call to action if you want, like to have text or blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, I just want to have an empty screen. And so those are the settings that I like. And so when I come over to the, um, settings you can see that's reflected here and so do 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 do, do a video preferences um, not sure what that is I'm gonna look at that later but uh, oh one more thing I want to come over to uh, the embedded here and this is what's key okay so when you have the uh, settings that you want for what the player is gonna look like and you have like for the interaction tools and other things set up you can come over here and you can just create a preset. So you can um, you know, change something, player bar, and they'll say create preset, for example, and you can save that. And you can manage the presets, you can, you can change them. And so if I just go to school three here, then it's just gonna update to my, um, the settings that I want for when this video gets embedded. And that, that's really nice, that's convenient. So I didn't have to manually change everything, I could just select this preset and then go through the manual things with the general. But then I emailed Vimeo and just said, hey, is there a way that I could do this? And that's when they sent me to this page, which you know is pretty easy if you dig around, you can find it. Um, but yeah, you can see that the embedded preset is school three. And then who can watch your videos unlisted? And then uh, where can your videos be embedded? Only sites that I choose. And so when I go to a video, I'm going to have to uh, specify where that can be embedded. So that's one manual thing that I'm gonna have to do because there's different websites for that. For me, uh, what can people do? So I uncheck to download and add them to collections. And that's it. And so now these are my default settings, which is amazing. So when I upload a video to Vimeo, that's going to be automatic. And again, the great thing is when you change these settings and the upload defaults, you have the option of applying them to all existing videos. And so that makes it really easy. And so if you didn't know that, you know it now. I hope it helped. I'll see you later. Peace.